If you recall on previous episodes, my 2004 Ford Lightning has been a bit of a lemon. We've seen all sorts of problems from the spark plugs, the timing belt, the fuel injectors were a nightmare. It's been a bumpy road to say the least. But now it's time to turn this lemon into lemonade. Orange lemonade, is that a thing? Maybe not. So what's the plan? We're gonna completely overhaul this 20 year old truck and turn it into a monster. Before we do anything, let's fix that paint. Much better. Next, we'll install a new supercharger. Then, we'll replace the 20 year old brakes to make it safe so it stops on a dime. After that, we'll get rid of the old stock fuel injectors and really get some fuel into this. And lastly, we'll add a Borla exhaust and a carbon fiber tailgate. Once it's all said and done, this old beast will rip and become fast and furious once again. Let's get into it. We interrupt this program to bring you breaking news. What's up guys, Brendan Schaub here. I built the ultimate badass truck. If you like Raptors, Raptor R's, that's cool. This is one of one. You won't see another one like it. And guess what? I'm giving it away. Look at this thing. You're not gonna see this anywhere else. It's a one of one F-150 Roush free runner. No stones on turn, linked up with the best of the best. Somebody's gonna win it. So if you wanna win this badass truck, it's pretty easy. Go to drivefastallgas.com, pick up some merch, and this could be yours. Somebody's gonna win this badass truck. Could be you. All right, guys, big day for the Generation 2 Ford Lightning. It's fast-ish, it's 20 years old, so we're trying to update it, get it ripping and roaring. So we reached out to Whipple, they sent us the 2.9 blower, the whole kit, the intake, the pulleys, the whole system. And then also, we have from Snake Eater, the fuel injectors, which you gotta get fuel into this monster, so that's gonna help there. And then if you're gonna go really fast, you gotta be able to stop, especially you saw what I did to my TRX, so stopping's very important. So the boys at Willwood sent us the sick piston brake kit front back rotors the whole shebang so this thing's not only gonna be super fast but it's also gonna stop just as well so got a lot of work to do i'm so excited for this I absolutely love this truck it's been a dream of mine so let's get to work i'm gonna start by taking off the coolant reservoir. We're gonna move into the rest of these hoses and lines. Whipple supplies us with all new everything else. What we're gonna say from this is gonna be like the MAV sensor and the other uh, sensors and different things that work with the factory PCM. And other than that, the rest of the stuff's getting ripped out. So now we'll break this down, use the components that we have to reuse for the Whipple and everything else, we'll jump in. What we're gonna check right now is the inside diameter of this barrel so it actually fits the big brake kits. Oftentimes, you know, people will get everything bolted on just to figure out that their wheels don't fit and it's too late, you can't return it. They don't want it back after you've scratched it up. So just actually populate the inside of this barrel yeah. and be able to see if it fits. All right, so we've got this thing just mocked up. A lot of times I'll do it with blue tape. I've got the hat centered and then I've got our five holes centered now, with the caliper with pads in it, I also feel that the top of the pad is matched with the top of the rotor. Yep. So it's on this outer edge of it. And you can see- We've got clearance for We've got more than enough clearance and probably about the thickness of this part of my finger mm -hmm. in the barrel of the caliper, uh, between the caliper out body and the barrel. So we're yeah. good. When it's a complete wheelwood kit, we always have a wheel clearance diagram. Mm -hmm. This being a TCE collaboration kit, 
he's already done so many of these trucks that he's he's confident Todd over there that Absolutely. this kit's gonna fit. All right, so as you guys see, it fits great. We could actually probably even go with a smaller wheel, but 17s are gonna be perfect for this project. So on something like this, you can always reach out to your guys over at TCE using amazing Woolwood products to be able to put together any custom kit for any project. Didn't even exist before for this Lightning, but we can make sure anything can be done. So we appreciate you guys coming out here, checking this stuff out for us. And, and now we know that we can continue on with the project and we'll bring it on to you guys pretty soon. Alright guys, so we're all done with our Wheelwood TCE Big Break Kit for Brendan's Lightning. As you see, it's a beautiful unit. It's a great upgrade over this ancient, heavy, archaic, and literally underperforming four-pot setup that was in here before. We have their Big Break six-pot setup, way larger rotors, drilled, slotted, and it's going to be able to finish us off really well. We also upgraded the lines to stainless steel lines on the inside, on the inner. And then along with that, we were able to redo the backs as well. So as you see in the backs, similarly put, we've upgraded from the old rotor and this puny pathetic caliper. It's really only good for a parking brake almost, but that's been a big upgrade. So that'll be able to help him stop and keep everything going. So shout out to Willwood, shout out to TCE, and of course the guys over at Fusion, we couldn't have done it without them in the 11th hour. They definitely helped us get this product to where it's at. And from there, you guys will see it on the road. All right, fam, time to pick up this beast from Borla. As you can see, they installed a custom exhaust setup, and this thing looks incredible. It's a thing of beauty. Like 20 year old exhaust that's in here. A lot of rust. Big old muffler. Did the job. Did the job back in the day. What's 224, baby? Oh. Wow! 20 year old truck! Nothing better. Nothing is freaking better. Nothing makes me happier than that noise. And you guys want to go towards electric. You need to drive this thing. Change your mind. I'm out. Borla. Shout out to Borla. Absolute best. All right. All the repairs are done. We did it. We had a few issues along the way that took us a couple of months altogether. But we made it to the best part, the dyno. Let's head to my guys at Full Throttle Customs and see what she does. What's up fam, we're at Full Throttle Customs to finally tune, get this Whipple right. I would be happy at anything over 600 at the flywheel. We'll see, that's a lot of horsepower in this little truck, so we'll see. done mission accomplished we did it i estimated around 600 horsepower we're actually about 640 that's about 440 uh to the actual wheels so the whipple did its job the inner chiller did its job here's the problem though i don't get to have fun with this bad boy if you can't hear it's pouring rain and this thing's on slicks with over 600 horsepower so hopefully i don't wreck this truck wish me luck so, well, right.
Alright guys, so you've been with me on this entire Ford Lightning journey. Now it's actually time to see if the truck is any faster. So we got a draggy unit. These are the best. It's connecting my phone. It records 0 to 60. Let's see how we do here. Hope there's no cops. First one, 6.4. Too much power. The ass is too light. Uh, those people are so scared. Uh, we, need, we need some uh, wider tires. They're just, it's just spinning. It's spinning. We added the power. Now we need to figure out the tire situation. I need wider uh, tires. I mean, it is a bar of soap out there. Sounds good though. Looks good. All right guys, Project Lightning is coming to an end. Saw me pick this bad boy up in Phoenix, Arizona with my son when it was the Silver Surfer. It had way too much chrome on it, had a fuel pump issue, and now we're here. It's orange, it looks mean, it's show quality, and we're here for a photo shoot with Street Truck Magazine. It's the end. Yeah.